Hello, everyone, and good morning. Thank you for joining our webinar this morning, Jira Service Desk for Customer Service. This is the final uh, installment in our Jira Service Desk webinar series, and we will be recording this webinar and we'll email you a link to the recording over the next few days. The email will also include a link to register for our next webinar. As you have questions, please be sure to type them in the questions box of the GoToWebinar control panel. We'll get those queued up and we'll answer them towards the end of this session. On the webinar today from Precipio Consulting, we have consultant Kartik Malhotra. Kartik has a lot of experience helping teams use Jira Service Desk for customer service. He's done many implementations of Jira Service Desk for various clients. So we're really excited to have his expertise and his leadership on the webinar today. Uh, and then I'm Evan Perkins. I'm a sales consultant here at Precipio Consulting, and I'll be serving as your moderator. A little bit about Precipio Consulting. We've been at Lassian Expert Partners for over six years now and are one of five platinum enterprise experts in the country. Over 99% of our projects are Atlassian related, and we've helped uh, hundreds of clients across the globe, ranging in size from 20 person companies to Fortune 20 enterprises, spanning many different industries. We help our clients with process centric technology solutions that facilitate traditional business process management, IT service management based on idle, and software development life cycles. In the SDLC space, we're helping clients transition from traditional waterfall to the agile methodology. So, whatever widgets you produce, we help improve the quality and throughput at the lowest cost. We support our clients in all facets of the Atlassian product suite and build methodologies and solutions across the entire product line. So we can help with solutions architecting and implementations, licensing, upgrades and maintenance, managed hosting, managed services, integrations, add-on development, uh, and also training. And with that, let's hand things over to Kartik. Thanks, Evan. So to start, my name is Kartik Malhotra. I have been working with Precipio Consulting as a consultant for a little over a year now. A little background on myself, I'm an industrial systems engineer, graduate from The Ohio State University. I consider myself a pretty decent chef, and I have recently fallen back in love with yoga. If you have any questions, comments, restaurant suggestions, or want to make a new friend, please feel free to email me at kartik at precipio.com. So a little about what we'll cover today. This is the third webinar in a three-part series highlighting the outstanding functionality that every team can experience with Jira Service Desk. We'll start out with a quick overview of Jira Service Desk in the right tool. Then we'll talk about the right setup, the right process, and then do a use case with seen it, solved it. After that, we'll take some questions. So to start out, let's talk about the basic features of Jira Service Desk. So what exactly is a service desk? A service desk is a single point of contact for users to interact with the business. It's typically used for reporting any and all incidences, requests, changes, or problems. Because all of the work flows through it, the service desk is the perfect place to capture data and track service levels, availability, performance, and other vital information that can help an organization continually improve over time. This definition likely fits most people's perception of a service desk which could include things like gaining access to certain accounts within your organization, troubleshooting servers, and general setup. Now that we know what a service desk is, let's talk about what a couple of huge trends observed in Puppet Lab's 2014-2015 State of DevOps report. Teams are becoming more agile with more innovation occurring, to the point that deployment has increased 30 times with 200 times shorter leads. That's huge. Secondly, teams are becoming more reliable by streamlining their processes and fortifying their infrastructure, resulting in high-performance teams having 60 times fewer failures and recovering 168 times fat. As these trends continue, we start to realize the simple truth that organizations need to balance services externally and internally. However, current support systems face several challenges. Continuing pressure to improve relevance of services to the business, the fact that the teams must balance the rate of change with stability to ensure business value is being provided. Additionally, scattered data or lack of information at all levels limits the incident and problem understanding. Furthermore, sparse communication on changes leads to support teams being out of the loop. 
This coupled with a lack of alignment with other teams and redundancy and rework results in high costs to the business, fiscally as well as in the eyes of the customer. So if you're anywhere as OCD as I am or have a background in Lean Six Sigma, you'll quickly realize that these pain points are huge forms of waste. 